Hello everybody, my name is Thor Young, I'm a moderator of Bear Bull Traders, and I would like to do a recap for you today. In today's recap, I want to highlight a particular thing that all traders need to have, which is you need to be able to play multiple plays or multiple trades, and I want to show you an example of that today. Now, what I mean is, is when you're in the process of developing as a trader, often you are looking for this one special secret or this one special pattern or this one thing that will give you the ability to make money every single day, but you'll be able to do it fast because it's just this quick thing to learn. But what you're going to find as you move upon your trading journey is that it's not quite that simple. It takes years to become a good trader. I've been trading for a few years, and I'm just really starting to feel like I've got a grasp on all of this. Now, obviously, I've been teaching videos for a while. I've been teaching techniques because they're things I'm very familiar with. But only now, after three years, do I really feel like I'm really, really getting good at trading. So I want to highlight that today, and I'm going to go through my uh, different trades today. So first thing I want to show you guys is a trade that I had here on NEO. So NEO was a five minute opening range breakup, five minute ORB. Now NEO pushed up here strongly and then came down here and threw indecision on the one minute. Next candle pushed up to here, next candle with increasing volume pushed right up to here. So you can see we have this pre-market level. I, I didn't mark it because I can, I can just see it. But you can see here we had a test to the bottom side, test to the top side, test to the top side, test, test test right so this level obviously has some significance to it so what i'm waiting for is the break of that level and you can see we held it for a few minutes about four and then on the fifth minute we sold off a bit and then we broke that level and when we broke it some volume came in so i went long for a five minute opening range break on neo and as you can see had a really nice push up here tried one little ad here when it came down i didn't see any climactic volume to the top side so i didn't really read this as being done yet um, especially with one two and then three hammers so when it came down this time held vwap and went long i went long at the break but immediately after going long it, it came right back down and then i stopped out so no big deal um that's you know i was down to a small percentage of my shares there anyway so now i'm going to go back to acb um, ACB here um, was a great trade for me. This was my opening trade. ACB had really strong movement today. Um, a lot of the uh, um, the cannabis sector um, is is moving a lot today um, with certain catalysts. And you can see here that it actually started to do a little bit of a weak move, and then it came down. It lost this level. Now this level at 80.20 is actually a level that I have marked off the daily chart. And I want to kind of show you this 80-20 level as it marks through here. Now, the reason why it was so important to me is as you come across, you can kind of see how this level, here it is, interacts right with the top of this area here. We had a breakdown that pushed up, and then we kind of gapped a bit, right, and then moved down. So I saw this lining up with our pre-market action very nicely. So that really had me interested in it. So since we were all well above the pivots anyway because of our quick early morning ascent, those weren't really going to help me a whole lot. So I needed some key levels. You can see we got it weak, but then we opened up. We had a million shares um, come through, actually about 5.4 million. So really strong amount of shares came in, and it started to push up. As soon as it broke and made a new high, I went long there and got an absolutely beautiful push. Risk was a lower candle, so got an easy 2 to 1. Only dropped 10%, 10%, and then half position out. And then I was down to about 20% here by the time I got to the top. So I had a real nice run on those shares, and I'm doing quite well. And you can see ABC still moving today, but I'm done for the day for me. And then lastly, I took a trade on BABA. Um, for BABA, I want to load my um, pivots that I normally use with my uh, one-minute chart. So um, you can see here um, with BABA, normally when I trade, I use pivots. When I trade, and you can see Baba here had sold off, and it could not manage to close real well below R1, and I kept seeing it bounce there, came right to R2, respected it, came back down to R1, came in here, put a nice little pattern, so I went long here for the break. I got a partial right at R2 and then stopped out. It wasn't quite ready, but then it came down and threw two hammers, so I went long again, and we threw more hammers and sold off a little bit, 
but then we pushed my stop loss was actually the loss of this level right down here this hammer so and VWAP so um, we got a nice push up solid two to one there partial 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 so that all worked really great and then I tried one ad and then I stopped out the ad I don't know what I was thinking with the ad I completely messed the ad up and um, you know it just shows we all have room for improvement in our management the stock had moved below R3 and it was pushing right back up into it I should have waited for it to go through R3 and tried an ad above it or let the stock come back down to R2 and see if it bounces here and then moves up so but I got a little impatient here I kind of read this pattern uh, a little aggressive notice the declining volume on the push-up there was no reason to do this ad so it, this was a poor ad so always room for improvement but anyway those are my trades for today what I'm the main point of this whole thing was really to isolate what you've seen here is you've seen me do a, a one minute ORB basically predicated on pre-market levels then you've seen me do a five minute opening range break predicated on daily levels and then here you see Baba which is um, you know what I didn't get my trade in on this one till almost a half an hour 40 minutes into the trade and that was predicated on pivots right so in order to be a good trader you have to diversify you have to be flexible and you have to take the time to learn all of the information not one thing is going to make you successful it's going to be the culmination of many pieces of information that will help you develop your edge so I hope you enjoyed this recap if you did please feel free um, to throw me a like I'd certainly appreciate that also if you'd like to see more of these recaps go ahead and subscribe to the channel and ring that bell Otherwise, I hope you guys all have a fantastic rest of your day, a fantastic weekend, and as always, keep it green. Thanks.